Hello people in stomach carcinoma, let us focus on the spread of stomach carcinoma. So stomach carcinoma can spread via blood or via lymphatic and it can uh, present as secondaries uh, elsewhere. So that is why this is important. See a person may come to you just with a feature of anemia and then when you look for the cause it can turn out to be a stomach carcinoma so this is why it is called as stomach carcinoma is having a silent growth but actually it manifests as secondaries in the liver or it manifests as ascites or in the virtuous node that is your left supraclavicular or uh, nodes right lymph nodes retrovesical deposits that's the bloomer shelf so retrovesical means what behind the bladder is it umbilical nodule can be there that is uh, uh, the, somebody who has a nodule around the umbilicus can actually be a malignancy which was discovered by the sister Mary Joseph nodule sister Mary Joseph because okay, she discovered it, it looks like now uh, what is this bloomer shelf bloomer shelf is when they do this uh, rectal examination they can feel for some mass in the uh, pouch of Douglas etc see they I think there's somebody sitting here so they can feel that mass so that is bloomer shelf okay then left axillary lymph nodes is irish nodes so touch your left axilla see everything is going to left yeah because our stomach is on the left so yeah we're chose node left left axillary node and ovary krukenberg tumor so krukenberg tumor is uh, where is krukenberg and this image please show me this image so they have said that it can spread to the ovary so krukenberg tumor right so what and all will you see Silent stomach carcinoma can come up with secondaries in the liver, nodules in the liver, umbilical nodules, ascites, then um, Krukenberg tumor, then some bloom, bloomer sign. So we saw the lymph nodes, axillary lymph nodes, virtuose nodes. And in this image, there are a few extra things like a hard irregular stomach mass, omented deposit. Okay. Omented deposit. Okay. So this is what you have to write in the uh, exam. Okay. Now how does it spread and all we look at? <coughs> so it can either spread by the penetration of gastric serosa. So mucosa over directly it has penetrated, uh, gone beyond the mucosa serosa also it has penetrated. Then it will start affecting the others. So this is one spread. Directly it will only start moving by itself. Okay. Um, uh, then what else? Lymphatic spread. Lymphatic means it will use the lymphatic channel. Lymph to spread. Okay. So, this one is a good prognostic indicator they are saying. You can know how much uh, the spread is kind of a thing and whether the person will have chance of surviving. Lymphatic is a poor prognostic indicator. Obviously, right? Where and all can you go and search where this lymph went? Correct? Okay, so now let's move. Okay, so lymphatic spread, there are so many zones. We'll come to that. Then you have blood spread and transcelomic spread. Okay, blood spread, it will use the blood to spread, obviously. Okay, uh, the, they are signs of inoperability. That means once it has spread with by blood and all, it has gone to liver, lung. They produce extensive secondaries, inoperable. Now, okay, transcelomic spread. Transcelomic means it has its uh, in the celomic cavity, right? That is how it will spread. <clears throat> so uh, it is using it is going to cause all this ascites and then it will cause this Krukenberg ovarian tumor, bulky ovarian deposits, retrovesical deposits. That's only boomer, boomer shelf. Okay, what you saw. So how is the stomach carcinoma spreading? Four things you have to write. What are the four things you will write? One directly it will go. It will puncture the mucosa, sub, sub mucosa, serosa, musc uh, everything. It will go. That is one. Okay. One thing it will only go. Second thing, it will use the lymph. Then it will use the blood. Transcelomic, it will go. Okay, these are the ways the stomach carcinoma spread. And silently, it will be growing in the stomach. That is what uh, is the importance of this uh, stomach carcinoma. Okay, so these are the secondaries. Because of second car stomach carcinoma, you should know this. Okay, and TNM staging, how are you doing? TNM staging because of the lymph node, right? In lymph node involvement. So, tumor. N is what? Lymph node, M is metastasis, right? So, uh, how are the lymph nodes uh, classified? They have some zones, okay? So, basically, they have right, left, proximal, distal. We will not go into too many details. So, um, 
So zone one, zone two, zone three, zone four, zone four, right, left, uh, proximal distance, something like this. You can remember. Based on this, uh, they are able to say where the um, carcinoma is. Obviously, right? Lymph node uh, station number uh, description, upper third, middle third, lower third of stomach, primary tumor. Very interesting. You can go through all this. Okay. <clears throat> then you will come to TNM staging and you will stage the cancer, stomach cancer. Uh, basically, how much of the tumor has invaded uh, the mucosa, the submucosa, the serosa. <clears throat> yeah, in between muscular is proprio is there. Then here you can see that lymph node involvement is helping them stage, right? And then distant metastasis. Okay. Then you have uh, undifferentiated will be what grade four. Undifferentiated, poorly differentiated, undifferentiated, it just becomes so bad that you cannot even identify that it is some kind of a stomach tissue. It's undifferentiated, poorly differentiated. Okay. So basically in this video, we just wanted to cover the spread of stomach carcinoma. Hope you have understood where and all it spreads, how it spreads, extra. Bye-bye.